These things are called PVs or cants. They give one man the ability to manually move or actually roll large logs around during woodcutting operations, which involve large tree trunks. The cheapest of the commercial PVs cost between $35 and $80 if you want to buy one. But what respectable YouTuber wants to buy one when he can build one himself? There are lots of really cool homemade log PVs on YouTube. There's only one problem with all these PVs. They are all, ex they are all extremely well made by bona fide craftsmen using premium parts and excellent equipment. Some guys even have their own forge. Well, it's time for old Joe Novice to kludge up a Rube Goldberg version using literally whatever I can find in the way of scraps around the garage. As I was preparing to design my PV, I noticed some of the more expensive PVs have a removable foot uh, attachment, which is extremely useful if, we, if you want to raise the log off the ground for cutting it. So the double purpose PV, as I call it, allows you not only to roll the log around, but also raise it up on the foot a few inches off the ground so as not to foul your chainsaw blade or have it pinched in a collapsing cut. Most of the YouTube PV makers are using combination of pipes and wooden turn handles or the like. All I could find in my junk pile was two pieces of three quarter inch rebar and a few strips of three sixteenth inch steel, flat steel. So I proceeded to design my double purpose rebar PV with these parts in mind. I took my two pieces of three quarter inch rebar, sharpened the end of one piece and bent it using a blowtorch. The other piece I left essentially straight. I affixed some spikes on it. I also added two ears for an optional attachment of the foot. On the other end of the straight piece of rebar, I welded two more ears. This is where the movable arm, the one with the sharpened end, is attached. Here's the assembled PV without the foot attached. I only had about five inches of, of the rebar straight piece sticking out to attach a handle or lever, which was not enough. So I had to weld on some additional lengths of this 3 16th inch flat steel to extend the handle attaching area. With respect to the removable foot, steel pipe is once again ideal for it, but again, I didn't have any old pipe. So I welded up a T for the foot using 3 16th inch steel. Here's the foot being installed on the end of the straight bar. Here's the PV in action without the foot installed. This is the log rolling version of the PV since the foot is not on it. Now here is the PV with the foot installed. Notice that I've got a good six inches of lift of this 400 pound log, even with the foot buried partially in the mud. Using the rolling feature and the foot lifting feature, I was able to cut this log into six use liftable chunks. The real power behind a PV is the lever aspect. Most PVs use stout wooden handles or pipe. I had neither, so I found this old piece of square metal tubing, which gave me all the leverage I needed to lift this 400 pound log into the air for cutting. Unfortunately, the third time that I was moving the foot to raise the log, the weight of this log finally took its toll on the 3 16th inch steel, as you can see in this picture. I'll have to straighten this and weld on a double or maybe triple thickness of this 3 16th inch steel. Well, there you have it. Joe Novice strikes again.